Hello, welcome back to Brand Switch Live. Today, I'm gonna continue with the experimental uh, mesh sync uh, package inside Unity. Uh, so, we have the previous file over here. Uh, we have a couple of mesh sync server objects. One of them seems to be running by default, but uh, I think I will just gonna just delete all of this. I'm gonna try to reconnect and sync some of these objects. Uh, into blender okay so yeah we don't need this as well so the idea is to create uh, a mesh sync server by default this is already on and trying to connect and listen to blender but we also need to open blender just launch blender 3.1 from the preferences And hopefully in a second we can see the mess is syncing between Blender and Unity. So I'm just gonna delete the default cube, create Suzanne. What's actually I didn't mention was in the panel, there's actually this mess sync server running okay this panel is very important i didn't know this before but we can auto sync from here and you can see susan is already there so file save as sync test x okay just save it like that so it works with susan i can actually subdivide as well and I can bake modifier now this guy uh, if we double click okay now it's full screen okay now inside unity this is actually kind of rendering uh, just the preview um, I can run uh, the game if it's running I don't think the mesh will update so let's just disconnect that um, I'm curious okay again with uh, because now we have this bake modifier we can turn this to Zen into other objects using geometry nodes so it's almost like a it's almost like a magic show so box cube plug this in there suddenly it's becoming a cube let's reset the, ro uh, reset the rotations option G option R Okay, so it's syncing nicely. So what else can we do here? Let's see. Let me try to think. Geometry nodes cube. Let's disconnect this. Um, the famous trick is to use mesh line. Maybe. And with a grid. So we're gonna use instance on points. So we have this mesh line and we have grid and we connect them together. We have this. Let's have five of them. Make the grid a little bit bigger. So we have a grid of, uh, yeah, like a stack of grid. You can realize this instance is and mesh to points so it's becoming points we can use we can now use our cube and an instance on points once again and boom suddenly we have like a brick an array of brick that we can control it's also working here so uh, oh, the next thing I'm curious with uh, with mesh sync and unity is the maybe the cloth system. I haven't tried this myself. Physics uh, 2D and 3D. Maybe there's a way to do that. But for now, maybe okay. We have these points. 
with these objects we can randomize using random value or if you want something more random maybe instead of mesh to points you can just distribute points on faces so we have grid we can distribute some points there something random suddenly we have this control we can pipe this outside the seed so we can have multiple objects each one of them is randomized in the seed it's gonna appear different we have some object there okay that's the grid yeah, we don't need this delete let's go back Oh, okay. <clears throat> somehow, somehow it brings in other objects. Could be a bug. But anyhow, let's see what else. Okay, we have materials. We can put. Is it running at the moment? Maybe get rid of the light and get rid of the camera. If you want to turn this into something that's a little bit even more random, we can also realize instances on these objects and then distribute more points. And then we can use point to volume and volume to mesh okay set smooth okay this is getting more interesting just something random duplicate these objects randomize the seed so yeah I, I quite like this we can also use a uh, something cool like circular array all kind of geometry nodes set up that you can think of if we create a cube go to edit mode and select the face do like a bit of modeling inset extrude So everything sync to this guy. We can mirror, bisect, subdivide, right click, shade smooth. And we have this ships. Still getting used to Unity. Let's say we have this and we want to use circular array. We can use uh, Johnny, uh, go to downloads, find Johnny's tool, it should be here, okay, nodes, circular array, select this guy, geometry nodes, circular array, plug this in. Now we have something that's, yeah, it's something that might be inside like a amusement park, okay. And you can rotate it. Maybe rotate it from here. Animate it. It's kind of cute. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> there's something in the middle there. That's kind of duplicated. It's just kind of interesting. It's it's there as an instance but uh, we can probably delete it so the animations work you can actually cache it I don't know how yet but keyframe this 
make this 400 keyframe. Okay, we got the instance there, which is kind of funny. So, okay, that's uh, pretty much how it works. We can, okay, this is an instance. I cannot drop it there, which is funny. We have this biscuit from the other day. I'm using WER to rotate, move, and scale. Um, okay, I want to show you Windows Package Manager. Let's show you some VR stuff. Oh, like I can use my iPhone to control uh, the camera. So hopefully this works. Virtual Live Capture install the package <clears throat> and hopefully this works I have to create a virtual object virtual camera so we have the package now installed create a game object live capture the virtual camera and take recorder create a capture device which is camera not AR kit we're gonna try face in the near future but so we have this okay um, is the server running life where is the server Ah, yeah, I forgot. Somewhere here. Create server. Okay. I think it's probably running. And I just need to connect my iPhone. I forgot to turn on the Wi Fi. So it's very dependent on your local network. If you connect it <clears throat> properly, you can see that uh, this can start moving. Windows, live capture connections. start okay here is something weird starting to happen okay we have this window where is how to switch to that camera
anyway my camera is moving around okay okay I'm recording <clears throat> so this in order to demonstrate this fully I need to also yeah we can basically with this we can use take and start recording you know like I can do this and trigger this from the iPhone and stop recording this is actually recording like a keyframe sometimes it crashes uh, unity because there is like a memory leak however uh, in this version but anyway I just want to de demonstrate this so we have this take that's been recorded with the animations and yeah things kind of working nicely so we still have control over this guy I believe and also this we need to be inside the game engine for this to upload for this to upload update actually it's not you just need to be live here yeah I think that the next thing that's missing is probably to transfer this into your eyes like maybe I need a VR stuff Ah, Oculus, I might need to buy Oculus. But anyway, hopefully you find this interesting. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.